the anniversary, sweetie. Do you need any help? No, uh, I still got these two fingers working. I still don't understand how you did that with a pencil sharpener. <laughs> it was an electric pencil sharpener. Those things have torque. Hey, it's a wallet. And there's a lottery ticket in here. Hey, it's already scratched. Sorry you didn't win. Well, that's a time saver. What did you get me? Okay, well, I put a lot of thought into your present this year. Love coupons? It's romantic. Good for one shoulder rub. But I already get shoulder rubs. But now you can have one whenever you like. You don't like rubbing my shoulders? I love rubbing your shoulders. Then this is kind of a gift for you. You said no appliances. Well, I man, don't get me another iron. Don't go buy something for yourself. I already get for free. Happy anniversary! H is for happiness. A is for anniversary. P is for the pair of you. P is for the pair you are. Millie. Y is for the yogurt. Ever morning. All right, great. That was a fantastic song. Thank you. I'll just jump to it. This is for you. Holy crap. It's a trip for two to Europe. Oh, my God, Millie, this is fantastic. Read the card. And then, a week in Tuscany. I've always wanted to go. And a tour of the Grecian Islands. We can't accept this. Why not? Yeah, why not? Because it's inappropriate. It's more appropriate than getting your wife an anniversary gift. You didn't even spell check. What's a foot message? Here, you can also have a back rib. Those, those coupons are non-transferable. <laughs> Rumpaloo bong? Damn hippies. Hey, candy pie. You got Millie's fan mail sorted? Sorted? I was just gonna give it to her. No, never just give Millie a big bag of mail. As a rule, never just give her a big bag of anything. I don't have time for that, the way the phone's been ringing off the hook. Ring, damn it. Taylor, I need you in my office right away. Whoa, Joyce. Give a guy a minute to freshen up. Just get in here. All right. Uh, better hold her calls. So, how do you want to start? Should I dim the light? So, or... oh, get back to reality. There is a head shop downtown selling bootleg grump loo bongs. Well, that's outrageous. They can't be ripping off our authentic Grumpaloo bongs. There are no authentic Grumpaloo bongs. The Grumpaloos are kids' books. They do not belong on drug paraphernalia. Getting legal on the phone. No lawyers. I do not want Millie finding out about this. She'll overreact. Remember when she zapped that litter bug with her taser? I wasn't littering. I was trying to hit the trash can. Well, you never littered since. <laughs> okay, first of all... Oh, great, a list. Let me grab a pen. Okay, shoot. I uh, wanted to thank you for the anniversary gift. You're welcome. Number two. I just, I feel that a gift that extravagant is maybe a bit inappropriate. It's like if you bought a sailboat for your dentist. Ugh, Drobo Baggins? I don't think so. If you're going to get us something, it, it should be something smaller. Like a helper chimp? No. They're helpful. No animals. A hybrid car? Too expensive. A hybrid helper chimp? You, you gotta keep it simple. And, and within the parabola of our, you know, professional situation. Got it. No more expensive gifts for me. A letter from your parents. Dear son, it's me, your parents. Since we're your parents and you're my son, and we are in no way in a professional situation, I thought you would enjoy this trip to Europe. 
Have fun, your parents. Oh, this is fantastic. Yeah, so was Stargate Atlantis. That doesn't mean it happened. This is Millie. You're just being paranoid. It's written on Grumpaloo stationery. I don't even think my dad owns a glitter pen. Oh, greetings. Welcome to Buzznuts. I'm wondering about that device in the window with the little design on it. The grumpy dude bong. You show fine taste, my lady. It's a one of a kind. You don't have any others? Oh, sadly, no. But I do have a full supply of Wacky Jack papers. Thanks, Ziggy, but just a bong. A one of a kind, right? Like a snowflake. How's that fan mail coming? Well, I've broken it down to three categories. Love, hate, and crazy. But I can't figure out where to put this one. It just reads like a lonely, desperate plea from some single mother. Ooh. I'll handle that one. Is there a picture? Well, I bought the bong. You bought a bong? And the good news is, it's one of a kind. So, problem solved. Now I just gotta get the smell of patchouli off me. You bought a bong. I'll tell Millie. No! Remember? Taser? Right. You bought a bomb. Morning, honey. I, uh, I got up early, thought I'd make you some breakfast. I know it's no trip to Europe. Got that right. I thought maybe later we could go for a walk. And, uh, and then we could go see that movie you've been talking about. I guess we can, since I have nowhere else to go for the next six weeks. You know, my finely honed intuition is telling me 